up guys what up youtube how y'all doing it's your boy bindi bang here new to the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button y'all already know what's good on this channel and your return subscribe appreciate the love go ahead and leave a like and comment something down below just so i know you guys are enjoying what you're watching but let's go ahead and get started guys all right boys we're past the no wake zone let's go ahead and go fishing let's blast them No, this spot always holds fish, so most likely I might get a fish. If you know the spot, you know it. If you don't know, then I guess you don't know, right? So it should hold some fish, though. It'd be a shocker if this spot didn't hold any fish. Gotta get this net ready because I don't know what happens when I get the fish to bite on it. That's a fish. What? They're just swiping at it. That's a fish for sure though. Positive. Cast right back in that same spot. I know there's a fish. With the chicken, I should be able to draw out the biggest fish. Keep in mind, I only had a few hours to fish today, so. Okay, so I see some major fish activity, but not able to get any fish to produce. Maybe they just don't want the chicken, or I'm just not working it right, but I just saw a huge jump, so. We'll go ahead and tie on some that I think they can't resist. It's a jackal re-range, if they're chasing bay fish. It should not be able to deny this lure at all. Oh, let's try a dark sleeper. Damn, wakes. That's a fish. Let's go. First fish of the morning, a dark sleeper. I don't think I can't just resist that, but dude, I really gotta take a poop right now too. Oh my gosh. I think I should go back. They are shallow. That's a fish. That's one. They're just choking the dark sleeper. They're just landing the dark sleeper. Put it in the well. Ouch! I just freaking almost f***ed on my finger. Oh. oh! I really need to poop. Oh, I really need to poop. Oh, crap. But the fish are biting so good. Basically, guys, I'm just swimming the dark sleeper in areas where I can see that there's like bait fish just moving. Maybe a top water will be better right now, but like at the same time, the profile of the dark sleeper is just scrumptious for a big bass. Let's go ahead and get our bass and let them go. Oh, guys, chill. Let our fish friends go. We don't need them right now. Okay, let's switch up tactic real quick. Let's throw up. Let's throw the freaking buzz real quick. Ooh, that was a fish. That was a hit. That was a hit. Let's follow up with a jig or some. Oh, dude. My drag was loose. Ooh, that's a good fish. 
This is the one that got hit on the top water, huh? Ooh, it's not a bad one. Ooh. Nice three pounder. Chill out, bro. Oh, no. Nice. Little two and a half pounder here. Let's get a quick measurement. 17 incher. Goodbye, buddy. Oh, I think I used the bathroom now. Uh, no, we'll see. Nope, nope. Nope, not a, not a, not a, not a. We're not gonna give in to what's easy. <sighs> Come on, guys. Don't embarrass me right now, boat. Oh, I really hurt my finger. Alright guys, I gotta go take a massive poop freaking McDonald's. I should never ate that crap. Alright guys, I left my stuff here. If anyone steals them, your mom's a You already know. As much as the fish were biting, I was like, man, I gotta go. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, should be good. That's a fish. Yep, on the re-range. Small fish on the jerk bait in the morning hopefully means bigger fish. Bigger fish in a little bit. Seven feet here. Shallow water, you can say. That's another one. Little guy, come on. Let's filter all these little ones. Oh, dude. I'm gonna put my hook in my finger you keep moving like that. Chill out, bro. So guys, basically we're just working a major point, okay? And we're just working the jerk bait, pausing it, jerking it, pausing it. No more jerk bait stuff, right? And it's about eight feet of water here. Um, there's like a lot of vegetation that kind of just dies off into this eight, where there's eight feet of water right here. And we're just working the jerk bait, looking for any fish that's active to active enough to eat it. And we're removing the jerk bait pretty viciously too to make sure that we get the uh, most active fish to feed. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I'm just guessing, so we'll see what happens. Ooh. That's a big fish. Ooh, what the hell? That's a nice bass, bro. That's a nice bass. in the net Whew. yes let's go this is fish I don't know fish number five four let's get a measurement uh, it's a 18 and a quarter 18 and a quarter okay so we're getting mad bites on the jackal re-range the jerk bait is just Doing really good right now, so we're gonna try to see if we can get any more fish to react, man. Uh, I think I'm using 16 pound, I'm using 16 pound fluorocarbon right now. I'm just using that to work my jerk bait, and the reason why I use such a heavy line is because with that heavier line, it allows the uh, the bait to um, flow higher to die. Ooh, ooh, that's another good one. Oh yeah. Guys, I'm so glad I started to use the jerk bait more this year, though. It got me a lot of fish. Let's go. Let's 
go ahead and tie on this jig because I do know there's bait fish in there but sometimes those bass if they're not in the open water and they're a little bit tucked in some specific area we can try to get them out and what I'm fishing is not a secret or anything dude basically all you gotta do is just go to any sort of body of water or lake right and just look for the major point okay look for the major point the biggest change in the whole entire lake okay Look for that area and just look for bait fish and whatever. Look for anything that you think that bass will hang out around, like vegetation and stuff like that. Or if there's like log or some crap or some sort of weed line. And you see that if there's bait fish and stuff like that, just work it through, you know, work through like a, with a moving bait or move with a, a jig or something. Because like, dude, think about it. A lake is a fish's home. And he's gonna be at the place where it's most noticeable, you know? Of course, there's gonna be other fish living in the lake too, but like the main spot is gonna be the most noticeable spot because the fish, they're not that smart, but they can see the most noticeable change on the lake and they're gonna relate to that. Throwing a little bitsy bug. Let's see if we can get any fish to bite. That's one. That's a fish on the pizza bucket. Like I said, guys, there's gonna be fish right below those bait fish. And there's gonna be fish chasing the bait fish. Little guy. I'm a little bit close to this spot, but I'll back off. There goes another one. There's freaking two like crazy. Another one, little guy. Toss it back while it's hot. Because for the bass, when they're watching that bait fish fall, it's gonna look like a little bluegill or something just returning back to shelter in the grass. There goes another bite. Yep, as I said, let's go. Let him go, dude. My crawl literally has like one arm left, but dude, they're freaking chomping right now on this grass. It's a really light jig too, about a quarter ounce. Working in around seven feet of water here. There's a nice little drop off here and the fish are just ambushing these bait, bait fish in the grass. Right we're in transition from weed line to sand, sand bottom or whatever. Nice dude. Ah, oh, my finger still hurts later when I, early when I jammed it. Let's quickly put a new trawl in this, a new trailer on this crawl. See, I always know that this lake is gonna be good. So I try not to come to it because, I don't know, you kinda just keep coming to it if you know it's good, you know? Just hooked up. Laying it right now. Switching to the jig. Let's see if we get any fish. Most likely. Ooh, there's a big one. Dude, I was just checking my line. Here we go. Another one on the bitsy bug, dude. There we go. Dude, I'm catching so much fish in this little jig. As y'all can see, it's a bitsy bug of Yum Christy Crawl. Nothing special, but imitating really small bait fish that they're, they're eating. I can actually see them too. spot boys back to where we started we're gonna try to get a few more fish here and if we can't get any we're gonna call it a day so you got stuff to do today otherwise wifey's gonna be pissed off we don't want that
There goes my dark sleeper, dude. I just freaking lost it. 15 minutes to go until we got to go. Come on, we got to get a fish, dude. All right, boys, we're at the launch. We're gonna go home. Man, if y'all made it to the end of the video here, appreciate y'all so much for watching today's video, today's episode, whatever y'all wanna say it. But like I said, guys, we're always fishing. We're always catching fish. So go ahead and hit that like button if you love fishing. Go ahead and comment something down below just so I know what you guys enjoy watching. But other than that, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, appreciate the love. Other than that, boys, I'll see you next time. Peace out.